G'day all, welcome back to Jez Beer Reviews. Today's beer is a 2018 Sierra Nevada Oktoberfest. Uh, a little collaboration with Weinstefiner, Germany. Uh, anyone who watches the channel would know that uh, Weinstefiner is uh, one of my favourite breweries, especially German ones. It's um, You can get a lot of their beers here in Australia. And I love their Dunkel. Anyway, and I also like Sierra Nevada. I always have, honestly. Um, at Palo Alto, I was, uh, yeah, set the standard personally for over the West Coast there back in the day, and it's still pretty good. So we've got a brown bottle here. Uh, it's, uh, what is it? Percentage-wise, it's 6% ABV. And of course, it's brewed by Sierra Nevada. Nice looking bottle, uh, Sierra Nevada bottle and the label. Right, let's pour it out. So here once Oktoberfest beers. They're a bit slow getting to uh, to me down here in Australia, Dan Murphy's, but um, they do eventually turn up. Okay, color wise, looks like a Mars and Oktoberfest beer. Got a bit of a, um, you know, you'd say more, it's on the amber, the amber side, the light amber colour. Um, let you know that they used uh, some rich chewy malts. You get one finger of, um, it's a little bit off white head, but uh, in the glass it looks pretty good, pretty clear. Yes, it looks uh, very nice, the smell. Yeah, you're getting a hop, obviously not as like uh, hoppy as a Sierra Nevada Palo, but you yeah, are getting a hop, uh, yes, uh, more of a German aroma. But, geez, it looks good in the glass, doesn't it? You imagine having a Steiner this on tap. Ooh. So, uh, righto, it smells pretty good. Let's get the taste. Cheers, Frost. Yeah, straight up. The flavours. Uh, it's got a nice, rich... Uh, it's not pure... Like, you're getting that... Like, uh, that nice... Uh, toasted malt flavour. Like a, like a caramel malt coming through. The body is like a nice, creamy body. It's about a medium. Yeah, it's just... It's liquid bread, it's good for you. It's got a nice little bit of bitterness, but it's toned right down. It's just enough there to clean up that malty sweetness, goodness. It's toasted bread, ah, bready flavor in the beer, bready. Caramel. <coughs> yeah, <coughs> outstanding, outstanding body to the beer. The malt is delicious. If you're a malt, this is more of a malt maniac side of a beer than a hopheads. But there is a little bit there for hopheads, but it is very German malt forward in style. It's a very well made beer. It's travelled a long way to get here. It really is a tasty Oktoberfest beer. To me, I can't really find much wrong with it. Saying that I haven't had a real lot of Oktoberfest beers, hard to find. I've had like a lot of the German ones, but I have not had any of the uh, many United States made Oktoberfest or Australians, so they don't really seem to make much down here. So the Sierra Nevada 2018 Oktoberfest, a super delicious beer. One you don't really think, not think too much about. Sit back and enjoy it at 6%. You could say it's nearly not sessionable, but you could probably have two or three of these. And as Swill and Grog would say, be nicely toasted. 
yeah, it's a very tasty beer and could sneak up on you. But beautiful body, nice malt, nice little bit of hop, well put together. And as you would expect between probably even the world's two leading uh, big breweries, uh, one from the States and one from uh, Germany, and they've been doing it what, for a thousand years over there in Germany. It doesn't, it's going to be a quality beer. And this is what it is. Uh, I'll probably give this an A minus. I can't find too much wrong with it. And I really enjoy it, and I really recommend you get out and try it while still in stock at Dan Murphy's Australia. Right, thanks for watching the episode, Jez Preview. So, A minus for this little wonder, Oktoberfest. It should be Oktoberfest all year round because they're really tasty beers to session. Alright, thanks for watching the episode. Uh, till next time, guys. I'll uh, see you soon. Bye.